Legendary, I just wanna be legendary The money comes secondary, do anything necessary Taking risks was hella scary, all my prices vary I'm a real visionary, like Mariah, my city I carry I just wanna be legendary, I just wanna be legendary Legendary, I just wanna be legendary Legendary, I just wanna be legendary Yo, THC Canada, man. Welcome to THC TV. We've been setting the standard since day one. We're not new to this, we're true to this. When we first opened many years ago, that meant taking a risk. That meant standing up for something you believe in. Because cannabis wasn't legal, there were no business licenses. But we always believed in cannabis. We knew the risk was worth the reward. Yo, this brand meant the world to us. This store was our life, man. Yo, we weren't always the most legendary cannabis store. We started from the bottom. I remember when we first started, our first store, half the things were from a garage sale down the street right on the corner of Fraser and 49. The rest of the stuff we got at Ikea, I had my one homie, Jerry, his dad made one thing. The rest of the stuff, man, it was all from a garage sale in Ikea. Even though our store wasn't the nicest, just to have our foot in the door, that was huge for us. Because we knew if we hustled hard and invested, we could turn this little store into something legendary. Yo, you can ask people all across the country. THC is the dankest cannabis store in Canada. Yo, I was just in Toronto last week for Lyft. It was crazy, man. Had like 50 people come up to me and campaign and be like, yo, THC, the most legendary cannabis store. You know, it's just a blessing knowing how small we started. Yo, THC, easily the best dispensary in Vancouver, man. Nicest people I've ever seen, best selection. Best selection in Vancouver, hands down. Staff are excellent. The product is excellent. Everything's just excellent. This is pretty much the top shelf gold standard of uh, dispensaries in Vancouver. This has been basically the most reliable dispensary in the city, in Canada, like that I've ever gone to. They got the most gas anywhere else. They got stuff that no one else has and the best concentrates, probably in Canada. THC is number one in the country. Best people, best place, best weed and van. But THC, best dispensary in the nation, man. Appreciate you guys. The best quality products you can get. If you're trying to save um, on your buck, they got stuff for you. If you're trying to go top dollar, they got stuff for you. Do you love those concentrates? Do you love that butter shatter, live resin, all that stuff? Well, this is the place to be. Don't go anywhere else. Come to THC. You That's what's it, man. <laughs> you it, bro. Holy shit, man. The marathon hasn't been easy. We've dealt with setbacks, losses, 36 months of paying rent while dealing with licenses and regulation changes, but nothing could stop us. When we first started, we saw a void in the industry. There was no good branding or marketing at the time and no stores were doing it right. No stores looked dank enough, the product wasn't good enough, none of them were clean enough, the customer service wasn't good enough, there was no good branding, so that's what we focused on. And with that, we created one of the best cannabis brands of all time. No cap, man. Yo, since we first got in the game many years ago, we focused on two things, culture and community. We focused on giving back to the South Van neighborhood because without it, we wouldn't be here today. One of my favorite memories was a huge clearance. A weekend where we took care of breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all of our members and gave away thousands of dollars of products by teaming up with all the best producers in the medical market. We are so blessed for having the best memories of all time. We literally did this every last weekend of the month. Every last weekend, our customers knew they could pull up to THC, have breakfast, lunch, and dinner taken care of, and they're gonna walk out of there with like free weed, free joints, free dabs. Yo, it was such a legendary weekend. There is nothing like it, man. Hi, my name is Michelle, and I've been coming to THC basically since they've opened. And um, the guys here have literally changed my life. They've given me a life back. I've suffered from a chronic illness my whole life and been on prescription pills for over 30 years. Um, I was on about 25 to 30 pills when I first started coming here to try medical marijuana as an option. and. 
Um, I'm happy to say that today I'm 100% prescription free after probably about five years and a lot of detox. But the guys here have just been amazing. Like they have been like a family to me. They've been there on my hard days. They've been there on my good days. They have um, just absolutely gone out of their way to make sure that I'm okay. And they treat you like family here, like a patient. Like they care about you, not just like a number. Yo, we came up in the dankest era of all time, man. I definitely miss those days, serving out the purple jars, all the best growers and extractors just pulling up to the back of the shop. It was always our focus on carrying the dankest of the dank. People drove across the country to come to THC. Just when we were at the top of our game, we got the news of recreational legalization. We had to make the difficult decision to shut down. Yo, but at the time, we had no idea that it would take two years to reopen. Six months of intense debate. Tonight, senators finally voted on the Liberal government's landmark bill to legalize recreational marijuana. Yo, the crazy thing is, when we first got our license, our store was already built. Like we were already one of the nicest stores in Vancouver. But for us, because this brand means the world to us, we tore everything down and we took our time and we rebuilt it. Everything custom made. There's literally not one thing that you can go and buy from a store. We rebuilt this brick by brick. We took our time, but we knew that we wanted to build the most legendary cannabis store in the history of Canada. I remember, man, coming here all hours of the night early mornings, late nights. We put everything into this store. We wanted to create the best cannabis experience of all time. It's not a secret, man. Our designs and concepts have set the standard for all other cannabis stores in Canada. You know, I'm super blessed, super grateful, man, that we were one of the first five people in 2016 to get the municipal cannabis licenses. And then in 2020, we we're one of the first five people to get the legal rec market license as well. Yo, it was a dream come true for us, man, just to be in this legal market. You know, some days I still don't believe it. When I see that THC Express pulling up in the back doing legal deliveries, you know, I still don't believe it considering how small we started. It was always a dream for us, man, to be in the legal market, and it, but it wasn't easy. We opened just at the beginning of the pandemic. All of our employees left, man. It was just me and Renan working every day, open to close, no breaks, no days off. And then slowly but surely, the team started coming together. Shout out to my man, Nick the Quick. He came back. Shout out to Campaign Colin. He moved across the country to start working at THC and do the marketing. Shout out to Taya. Shout out to Taco, shout out to Alice. But we can never forget the OG, my brother, Snacky Chan. Always gonna be a part of this team for life, man. Yo, our THC fam, they're hyped to see us come back. Yo, but I won't lie, it was hard at first because the product wasn't that dank and that's what we were known for. But now, I can actually say the flowers are dank, the concentrates are dank, edibles, drinks. Yo, but we're just getting started, man. Follow us on our journey, THC TV, as we navigate through the Canadian legal market. Let's get straight to it. <laughs>